Hey guys, this is Zerk here bringing you the March update breakdown. So starting off, we're going to use the OHM, the new shotgun LMG, uh, in the gameplay in the background in a second. And let's go ahead and get started talking about uh, the new update features. So 15 prestiges, uh, all the same. That's gold. That makes it 30 prestiges total now, which is a little bit insane. At the end, you can have your uh, Grandmaster, which is the royal purple uh, camo. And then we got... 15 um, guns, uh, elite guns, for the unlock <clears throat> every time you prestige now with the uh, gold prestiges. So it's pretty cool to kind of start over and now you got some prestiges, but you also get to keep all of your unlocks, which is also nice for your weapons. Uh, and they also added in, uh, really dumb, I saw it the other day, but they added in uh, micro DLC. You can purchase your supply drops now. You're guaranteed to get three items and one of they have to be um, the blue one which is like professional or higher and so you'll you'll have a good chance to get an elite but you're not guaranteed that you're going to get an elite and you know, a lot of times you may get elite uh, uniforms and and exos and crap like that but there's some rare stuff in there too and and so it you know I guess if you're gonna pay for it you want to spend the money go for it but kind of think it's lame and it's a bad decision uh, to make now <clears throat> let's talk about the weapons that have changed for the new update, the heavy weapons, all the heavy weapons, you're now 5% faster. So that's a that's a big buff uh, just for speed, just because this game is so fast paced and that's going to make LMGs a little bit more competitive, which is nice. So now I think they're only 5% slower than a assault rifle, which is good. Um, next we have um, some corrected scopes for the AE4. Um, those got fixed up. Uh, I guess they were a little bit... Uh, misleading as to where they're going. We also got the uh, MK14. Uh, they reduced the recoil, which I was kind of surprised. I kind of thought that they should um, increase the damage, and they didn't. So I don't really see that as making the MK14 viable anymore. Um, the ARX160, which I didn't think this was necessary, but they did it anyways. They increased the magazine size. So now my hole puncher pretty much has extended mags on it all the time. So the hole puncher and the steel bite are amazing. Um, next we got the AMR9, they increased the damage, they decreased the time between bursts, so I'll have to give that a shot. Also they add the uh, SN6, they reduced the recoil, which uh, it should be even less than what it is because it says it's the best recoil for any SMG and I think some of the other ones are better. I think the ASM1 is probably better, um, so it's kind of silly that the SN6 pretty much should be a gun with zero recoil to start. Um, then the KF5, they re they increased the uh, mid-range damage, so I think the four-shot kill is a lot longer now with that one. The uh, Atlas 45, the pistol, the mid-damage uh, range increased and the max damage range increased. The PDW increased damage. Shotguns also reduced the spread when using gun ho, so all the shotguns are better. I, now the, I kind of was playing around with this uh, OHM, and I don't think that gung-ho really helps it because it's still technically an LMG and I think it's LMG at its core and it's also just really bizarre anyways but the, yeah the gung-ho didn't really seem to help it when I was running around and then we have the uh, S12 which should be interesting because they increase the fire rate and they increase the damage so I think the S12 might be pretty good now we'll have to give it a shot I got a couple of elites of that so that'd be good to try out and then the EPM3 reduced uh, recoil again which I, once again, I mean, it seems like a good gun, but it just isn't. I don't know. Like even even after all the buffs, like it's it's. I guess it's okay now. It it was atrocious, and now it's okay. Um, I think the biggest problem is like when you fire the the rounds, they're just so um, uh, they just distort your vision, and you can't put a silencer on them. I think they. I think that all the uh, LMG stuff or, or all the uh, light guns the little laser guns should be uh, not showing up on radar anyways because um, it's not it shouldn't make the same sound as a round it should sound like a silenced weapon anyways but whatever um, and then the links they reduce the recoil on that so maybe that's better for it so they can kind of match up the second shot I'm very surprised that they didn't touch um, the other one, the explosive round one, because I feel like that one needs to be a little bit closer together. And then the ASM-1, they slightly reduced the initial rate of fire. Just slightly at the beginning. I think that's to keep uh, from the really, really fast kills 
um, that people have been getting sometimes. So those are those are all the gun changes. Um, on top of that, uh, some of the other things they added in that was kind of worth mentioning. Um, the Vulcan lasers are now longer, which I'll have to give it a shot. Uh, so just generally they're longer. I wonder how long they'll be with added time. And then um, they also modified the missile strike so that you can uh, fast forward uh, through the missile strike like you can boost uh, your missile strikes <clears throat> which is cool and then they decrease the amount of time the player has to hold X to re to use the remote control turret which I wonder if they also decrease the amount of time just to log in to do everything because kind of seems weird that they do the turret only but maybe they thought you know hey you plant a turret and you drop down and you go ahead and start shooting people so um, but the bad part about sentry guns now is that it only takes one melee to, to destroy one. I, at least to make it two. Because one just seems way too quick. I mean, we can boost jump over there and hit it easy. Um, and they're not really, like, super amazing anyway. Um, so those are the um, the main things. They fixed a few, um, a few other things, like uh, some game modes and stuff like that. They just added some more leaderboards and things like that. Um, they added, you know, the purchasing of supply drops. Um, they said they fixed a bunch of communication errors. I've yet to really experience that. It kind of seemed kind of messed up earlier. Um, and then they added in some new loadouts. I saw some weird one that looks like some branch tree or something like that. So there's some other stuff that they kind of threw in there as well. But uh, that's it for the um, for the update. So I'll go ahead and I'll leave the description of all the weapons that have changed. Uh, I'll leave that down in the description. Make sure you guys uh, subscribe to my channel. I'm just trying to get it to grow now. And uh, thanks for watching. Take care.